We gotta start with the most anticipated film of the year, Falling for Christmas with Lindsay Lohan. Did she share her plans for getting back into the business with both feet? Uh, I mean, she's she's very, I think she has a, a massive plan, rollout plan for a lot of things coming up and I'm super excited to see what she does with it. Um, but she's she's very, you know, with it and professional and uh, it, was, it was just a blast and really easy, fun environment. Yeah, I mean, it's good to hear because obviously, you know, when she was coming up, there were always like stories about how it's like hiding in a closet or whatever it is. <laughs> and you, but your experience was was good and like on the level. I, I wasn't yeah. around any closets, I guess, so I, <laughs> I don't I don't know. Uh, um, yeah, no, it was we, it was really fun. Like, uh, you know, we got down there and we were in Park City for like two months and uh, we just bunkered down and had a great time and. Uh, it was just really chill and easy, and I mean, you can't not have a good time when everything around is like Christmas feels. So it was like yeah. it was like Christmas for like three months for me that year. That's amazing. Yeah. All righty, went through the lost and found. Uh, are these used? Probably, but you know, sometimes guests leave things here by accident. So not sure this was left here by accident. <laughs> Had you guys ever crossed paths when you guys were coming up? Uh, kind of briefly here and there, just like small little uh, run-ins, but. Uh, not not more than like a handshake. Did you bring Bader? Did you guys get to spend some time together? Yeah, they actually got engaged while we were down there and mm -hmm. she brought her brother down there and uh, her brother and me uh, hit it off and he's pretty much like my little brother now. Uh, you know, so like the whole uh, last day when it finally snowed down there, in between takes we were having a constant like four hour snowball fight. Oh my God, that's uh, amazing. But we, we have a great time and uh, I got to hang with them a lot and they're just great people. Beautiful. What can you tell me about this? It's sort of similar to Overboard, right? Yeah, uh, this is, it's, it's such a fun uh, flick, but it's, it's, uh, it's this heiress of this kind of hotel empire, and I own the small, you know, tiny lodge on the mm -hmm. mountain, and she bumps her head and loses her memory of who she is, and uh, I take her into my small lodge and try to jog her memory, and I dare her to not fall in love with me, you know? <laughs> you dare her. She, of course she can't resist. Do you guys do a little like Mean Girls style like song and dance number in the film? Um, no, she definitely sings, um, what's the song she sings in Mean Girls? Jingle Bell Rock, uh, like a little carpool karaoke type thing in the, in the movie. Um, uh, but we don't do a duet in this one, no. I like that though. But you've got the, but you've got a Christmas song. For, is it an original or yeah. is it one that you? Yeah, I wrote it. I wrote it for the movie. So right on, man. You have a daughter in the film, but uh, I mean, you're a young guy. I don't think you have any kids, right? Not that I know. <laughs> of. I don't. I mean, you what never was know. it? I mean, you're acting, and this is a, this is an actress. This is a professional playing your daughter. But what was it like, sort of having to get into that gear of? being dad? Um, well, I grew up with, I have a lot of siblings. I grew up, I have four sisters and one brother. My youngest sister's 10 years younger than me. So I kind of grew up babysitting and like with with kids. So I, I, I love, I love kids. And it kind of was like, oh, I guess I could do this. But there was a nice, you know, a nice thing about handing handing the baby back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I also have been catching up on Acapulco. It's really, really fun. Uh, you play a, uh, like a GM, but you're in the Cabana Boy outfit pretty much all the time. Do you just have like a whole like wardrobe rack full of those? I've got like that, three, that outfit. I got like three changes because I, I I tend to spill anything on in everything when mm -hmm. I eat on my clothes, but it's only the one outfit. So I had like one fitting and I'm good to go for the whole season. <laughs> it's it's such a fun, fun gig. I'm down in Mexico and it's, you know, like 85 degrees all, all the time. This is a song that I wrote for Sam. It's called Trouty Mouth. Wait, what's it called? Trouty Mouth. Most of us obviously first came to know you on Glee back in 2010. Uh, it's been gone for seven years, but it's sort of, it's still persistently in the zeitgeist. Who from the show are you still close to? Do you still talk to anybody? Um, I mean, everybody in that picture is I'm really close with. Uh, yeah, I still talk to uh, kind of everybody when you can kind of get a hold of them. Everybody's spread out so much, but uh, like I went to New York to see Darren's show, and then me and Darren kicked it in Nashville uh, like a couple weeks after, and I see I see Darren all the time. Uh, got lunch with Harry. Jenna lives across the street from one of my best friends, and so cool. I see her all the time. And then I run into Kevin at the gym, and oh, no, I, I, I kind of see him all whenever you know, whenever I can. And uh, we do like little dinners and stuff here and there. Yeah, uh, 
every now and then. Yeah, I, I'll bet, I'll bet. That's fascinating. Um, we did pull a little piece of video that we, uh, we want to show you. Let's cue that up. All right. So if by the time the bar closes and you feel like falling down, I'll carry you home tonight. I mean, the arrangements on wow. the show were, were amazing. Obviously, you were there, you saw it happen. But what goes through your mind when you think back to those days and you see a piece of, of video? Oh, gosh, it's like looking at like an old uh, photograph or an old video and you're like, wait, I don't, I can't. it's like you remember it, but you don't really remember it. There, we did like over 700 musical numbers. Yeah. Various people are making the rounds to go see Leah in Funny Girl. Are you going to do that? I might try to see it when I'm in New York. Uh, I've been in New York like once since 2018, I think. Yeah. So uh, I love seeing a show whenever I'm there. So, you know, if I get time, yeah. I, saw, I talked to Darren right before he was doing press for American Buffalo, like right before he had a baby. It was like, man, how are you going to have a baby during this run and then go and do American Buffalo at it's, night? That's wild. It's got to be a, it's got to be just a great partnership because it's that's impossible to do. That would be impossible to do. But he, they, they juggle it um, very, very easily, and uh, the baby could not be sweeter. I went and saw Darren actually. He did. He opened uh, up at the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, a couple weeks ago, and I was like holding his baby while he was, while he was performing, oh. uh, and it was cool. She was just sucked into like what he was doing. She's she's all about it. I've been sleepwalking in the rain. I was close enough that I could touch the teardrops on your face. We gotta talk music. Uh, sleepwalking in the rain is just out. We've had your girlfriend Camilla in a past music video. We don't care about the next day. I wanna take forever living in a simple state. Will she be in this music video for sleepwalking in the rain? Uh, I haven't figured out anything with the music video side of things yet. Uh, I think, you know, once I'm gonna, when we go to New York and I come up for air, I'll probably just start trying to. Uh, Die all that in. Yeah. It was a fascinating bit of trivia for me to read that she's Suzanne Summers' granddaughter. Is Suzanne Summers like the the most like energetic person on the planet? Um I don't think there is a sweeter person. I she's just charisma and personality for days and I she's there's no one like her. She's she's amazing. Our holiday meals afterwards, like, all right, we're gonna thigh master that work, that food off. I'm um, just kidding. I, 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 I think it's, she's an incredible cook, but I, I think it's more about, you know, just eating all day and just enjoying, enjoying uh, fellowship. Yeah, no, any time that I met her, she's been a, a lovely person. Um, yeah, you couldn't tell how strong my thighs were when I walked in. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I knew it. I, you had the look of a man who thigh masters seriously, absolutely. Right on, man, well, best of luck. Yeah. Cord, thanks so much for stopping by, Thank man. Thank you so much. Uh,